Well, uh, John Joe Nevin, of course, in his third season, he's been part of the WSB since its inception two uh, years ago, in 2011. He was part of the winning team there when he boxed for Paris United. And he'll need all of that experience here, John Joe. No question, the golden boy of Irish boxing. Superb counter-attacks, very, very fast. And uh, so probably the problem is that we don't know much about uh, Diaz. We've seen him on the WSB this season win an impressive style. But uh, as you said it yourself, Glenn, the, the Mexicans, they breed them tough. They've got a fantastic boxing heritage like the British. And um, John Joe Nevin will be delighted if he can take this one. And of course, if John Joe Nevin can win this one, then Britain has won the first quarter final. That's right, it's very, very important. He knows that. It's a fair amount of pressure on his shoulders, but if anyone can handle that kind of pressure, it's John Joe Nevin. A support for John Joe wherever he boxes. He brings a big crowd. And, uh, John Joe Nevin. Well, Alvarez wasting no time, Nick. Marching forward, getting the, getting the big bum off. Big straight backhand to the body. Good shot from John Joe. Wonderful, fast, accurate counter punch. Bit of a slower start from what we've seen in the previous fights, Nick, so far. Both fighters just weighing each other up. Trying to put that right hand over the top. John Joe Nevin. Alvarez in the green, white and red striped shorts of the Mexican Guerreros. Oh, good combination there. Stinging jabs. Opens up the guard, puts the right hand through again. And the best points down so far, and they've gone John Joe Nevin's way. He is. He's trying to use that extra height that he's got, that extra reach to his advantage. See John Joe now just cut edging forward a little bit more. We've seen him on the retreat earlier on in the round. Now he's kind of coming forward. Don't hold, don't hold. Bit of a quiet round to start one. To start with, rather. Well, an indication of the respect that both boxers have for each other. But uh, slowly but surely. For me, John Joe Nevin is uh, starting to get the reach and look a little more confident in picking off uh, the Mexican here. Good work with the jab from the Irish boxer for the Lionhearts and the red shorts, and some good combinations as well. A few seconds left on the clock. <laughs> Punch from John Joe Nevin. And that's the last exchange in the first round. Nevin drowned for me. Not a lot to take from either arm. Very, very, pretty quiet round, dare I say it. But Nevin for me just do that a little bit more. And one clear combination in the mid part of that first round, which uh, the judges will have scored. And uh, John Joe Nevin takes the first round. Looks a little nervous, Alvarez. But he's still only 19 years of age. Not quite as confident as uh, his teammate who boxed uh, Lopez, who, who boxed at Selby. Not quite as fluid with his movements. Right. But uh, you see the tattoo there, Beijing, 2008. 
the first Olympics where John Joe Nevin represented Ireland. And at London 2012, of course, he took the silver. Looking for a little bit more work now from John Joe. Clearly, Glenn, the Mexican, has been told to come a little bit yeah, more forward. Just a bit more urgency in his work now. And it coming out, firing off a little bit quicker. Let's see the instruction from the Mexican corner. One hold. help. Young uh, Alvarez. Put some points on the board and try and shake John Joe Nevin up, here. I get the feeling, Glenn, that John Joe's happy to keep the fight at this pace. Yeah, he's happy to keep the Mexican at the end of his jab. Obviously, he must seem like he's in, in control. Like to see him do a little bit more work. There. Always try and draw the counter Head off from Alvarez. Head up. Head up. Yeah. Looking not to get worn there. They went breaking. John Joe hit on the break. Better work, better work. A right hand counter over the top there from uh, John Joe Nevin, right on target. Don't hold, no holding. Keeping those hands dangerously though, though John. I'd like to keep him, see his hands come a little bit higher. Again, just seeing the superior foot speed from John Joe Never then. Getting the shot off, just getting out of the way. Almost 30 seconds left on the clock now. Good to see some effective work in this closing stage of the second round to confirm. Evan, two up. Just putting out that jab, trying to draw the Mexican in. Mexican now is starting to get yeah, a little think, more pushy coming yeah. forward, but I'm not sure it's going to work for him. That's right. I think there's some signs of frustration there from, from, uh, from Mexican. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, some football news for the teams from the home nations. And another Storm round goes to uh, John Joe Nevin eight, for the British Lionhearts. He's Hill. now two up. And Scotland one, Wales two. Let's take a look at some of the replays here, Glenn. And, uh, we know the counter-punching skills of John Joe Nevin are world-class. And uh, there we see them. Uh, left and the right over the top, very effective. That stiff jab, almost holding uh, holding Alvarez in his tracks. I think, to be fair, I think we were sport with the pace of the fight for the last two previous fights. This one, perhaps so far, not quite as quick. The tempo isn't quite the same. But, you know, we're going into round three. Things might just start to heat up. We've seen uh, Alvarez try to step up on the gear at the end of the last round. Perhaps he realises that this might be just slipping away from him, so he might change the tempo of the fight now. Well, it's uh, Alvarez that's got to make the move now. He's uh, two rounds down, John Joe Nevin. And that will own, do nothing but boost his confidence. And confirm to John Joe and his corner that the tactic is working. He has got a slightly taller, longer reach. He's frustrated Alvarez in the second round. And that's exactly what he wants to do, is drawing him on. That's right, and I think he's continued to do that in, into, this, into, into the third round. 
frustrating average. Roger, head, head up, head up, stop. Head up, okay. Box. As we know, Nick, boxing is about hitting and not being hit. <coughs> so far, John Joe Devon is doing a pretty good job and showing all those skills. from uh, John Joe Nevin, and a good body shot as well. Streets and down the pipe, down to the body. But you've got to take your off to these Goros. They're tough, been hit with some good shots. Never once have any of them shown any signs of any kind of whimpering away. <laughs> Screw shot with the left hand has been an effective up. point score. For the Irishman. Masterful footwork from Nevin, I have to say. Hold your head. You're up. We're not seeing as many punches being thrown, but Nevin's hitting the target, and I don't think Alvarez has hit him yet in this round. Just seems to be enjoying it, having a ball in there. Just simply boxing war with his capabilities, Nick. Not overextending himself. He's doing enough to win this fight. He's not taking chances. Oh. Another good round for Nevin. I think you hit it on the nail on the head there, Glenn. He's not to enjoy himself out there. Yeah. Certainly got it under control. He's got the tempo and the pace the way he wants it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the gentlemen, young Mexican. We've got yeah. a Picking off those shots just when he wants to. And it's blows. another round. Both Comfortably ahead after three, John Joe Nevin. That's right. It's difficult to see how you know Alvarez can change the temper, change the format of this fight. I mean, compared to uh, John Joe Nevin, he's limited. He hasn't got those skills. He hasn't got the speed. So, like I say, he has the power. No doubt about that. We must give him, we must commend him because let's remind ourselves the guy is only 19. He's still a, he's still a teenager. So you know, credit to him. He's giving his all. But unfortunately tonight, that's just a little bit short. And I have to say, uh, John Joe Nevin looking like a seasoned pro out there. This is his third season on the WSB. He's been with this professional or pro team format since its inception, and I think that experience has put it Nevin in real good stead. But perhaps most importantly, Glenn, a very very valuable point for the line. That's right. He's a comfortable lead. He knows that. He's just boxing well for himself. He's not taking chances. He uh, he knows how important this, this this win is here, not just for himself but for the team. And if he takes this, it will mean that uh, we cannot be beaten in this quarterfinal. But of course, there are two quarterfinals to be contested where all of the scores are added together. And if we could head over to Mexico next Friday, actually our squad is already there preparing and acclimatizing, then uh, going in with a 4-1 lead could give the Lionhearts a real good chance of booking themselves a spot in the semis in April. Penultimate round, already a minute in, and uh, Alvarez has no answer to John Joe Nevin's uh, head up, tactic head up. for this bout. Of course, Glenn, we've brought our best team to our home Head match, up. and I'm sure the Mexicans will do the same. Do the same, of course, yes. yes. So that lead that we take into that second quarter final really is important. That's right, we mustn't forget, they will be fighting altitude, which you said, or rightly said, we've got out to prepare for that, but, you know, I believe it's 6,000 feet above sea level. And uh, that's, that pays big dividends.
careful here, okay? Again, right hand over the top, counter punch from Nevin. Stops the Mexican teenager almost in his tracks. And again, another good right. Just fancying the job a little bit now, John, though. Just sense a little change in the mood here. Really trying to impose himself a little bit more on this young 19-year-old Mexican. Be careful, we can. Referee just asking Nevin to be careful with his body shots. Can't put them into the kidneys. Hey, head up. Keep your head up. 20 seconds left in the fourth round. Good body shot there from the Mexican. Just a reminder to John Joe Nevin that he's still there, he's still dangerous. But again, a good straight overhand right, straight over the lead. Jab of the Mexican. Oh, Mexico did oh. well to get himself out of the corner there. Another round for John Joe. Good boxing from Nevin. A little bit upset, he got caught just after the bell there, and he, <laughs> he didn't quite show his appreciation too much. I think he was a little bit frustrated because at one stage he thought he could finish it in this round. Yeah. Didn't quite come, he ran out of time, the bell beat him. But uh, once again, that right-hand counter-punch over the top from John Joe Nevin that we see in slow-mo replay here. Yes. Really has been his calling card for this match. That's right, he's going to go out now, and I think we're going to see a real promising start, because that upset him, that, that hit after the ballot. But we're going to see a positive start from John Joe in going into the ladder. Got to be careful, because we know these Mexicans, when they're, when they're under pressure, they're dangerous. We've got to be aware of that. Second round for the fifth and final round. Round, round, okay? Listen to Don, okay? So Nevin looking to pick it up where he left off in the fourth, with the Mexican in all kinds of trouble here. Not very happy to be caught by the Mexican after the bell in that penultimate round. And in the fifth, he just needs to keep it calm. The work has been done. I'm sure John Joe now wanting to put on a little bit of a show for his uh, friends and family and fans. We've all come to see this uh, Irish superstar in action here at the York Hall tonight. Yeah, he seems to be fancying the job a little bit now. Really trying to, almost at times it looks like he's trying to put the, the Mexican <coughs> away. Again, so skillful with the feint. His footwork just as quick and accurate. And again, two, three punch combination on the counter. And then gone, just flustering <laughs> Alvarez. Twenty-five on the clock for John Joe Nevin. One of Ireland's most successful and popular boxers. He too has got a little bit of a, a shuffle and dance move. He's won the first four. And now he's just looking to finish this with a little bit of style. Showed his class clearly, Nevin here tonight. Really, really having a board there now, Nick. And you've got to take your hat off to him. This win is, as you've already rightly oh, said, has made, uh, has made this, this tournament unbeatable by the Mexicans. Unwinnable, rather. Head up, head up. <laughs> of 
great work from John Joe Nevin. Not only has he done enough to comfortably take this uh, lightweight bout, but he's also sealed this quarter-final for the British Lionhearts. Oh, oh there's that the lovely one-two combination. Yeah, and I think that just stiffened the legs of uh, Alvarez. There it is. Excellent performance from uh, John Joe Nevin. Most impressive. All of the skills that were expected and putting his experience really to good use here. That takes the British Lionhearts 3-1 up on the Mexican Guerreros with, of course, the heavyweights to wrap up the evening with uh, Joe Joyce, who could potentially take it to a 4-1 win, and that would be a very, very good buffer to go into the second quarter-final. I must remind you that the Mexicans have not been beaten all season long on their home turf. It will be a tough second quarter-final for the British boys, but here tonight, the Lionhearts have put on another fantastic display at the York Hall, and uh, John Joe Nevin has been spectacular. Ladies and gentlemen, once more, after five rounds of boxing, we have a unanimous decision. All three judges score totals are 50 to 45 for the winner by a unanimous decision, representing British Lionheart, John Joe Nevin. Now into an unassailable 3-1 lead. But let's push on towards a 4-1 win, ladies and gentlemen, so we can go to Mexico with great hope. Firstly, John Joe, welcome back to the World Series of Boxing. A fine performance, some beautiful combinations in there. Plenty of in and out work. He hit you with the occasional left hook on the side of the face, but other than that, you seem very much in control. Did you enjoy your nice work? Yeah, I enjoyed it, you know, I was under a bit of pressure with the Mexican because he would hit a, you know, he had a good record behind him and, um, and we knew we'd be up again, he'd be just a tough lad, but you know, I'm only getting into it myself and hopefully I'm getting better and I can improve every time. Good man, thank you very much indeed. Hello to my um, parents at home and Richie Cavanaugh who wrote the song with me. Indeed. Thank you, John Joe. 3-1 now to British Lionhearts. Coming up next, Joe Joyce. Well, again, uh, interesting words, Glenn, from uh, John Joe there. Even okay, as one of the most experienced the boxers at the British Lionhearts this evening, he says he's learning, still learning, still more to come. And uh, surely we see him in control halfway through the fight, but he's also taking the information in as well as obviously giving that, us an excellent display of boxing. That's, that's right, and processing that information and, and, and reacting on is, is what's encouraging to see. He is still learning. There's things that every fight you go into, you learn a different... You, 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 you never stop learning, let's, let's be honest. But uh, yeah, a very, very well-controlled, disciplined performance from, from, from him then. And uh, he, he should be really, really happy with himself. Because as he said, the Mexico, he was really, really strong. Never stopped trying, but he kept composed. He kept his head for the full duration of the fight. He, uh, he came out as the rightful winner. I have to agree with you, Glenn. Very impressive, uh, John Joe Nevin. And of course, at a crucial point, in the match as well. It's a pro team competition, remember? And uh, not only doing Ireland proud, doing his own pro record, the power of good, but John Joe Nevin winning the quarter final for the British Lionhearts takes a little bit of pressure off Joe Joyce, who will box next in the heavyweight division. But as we've been saying now, the key factor is, is that we've won our quarter final at home. And if Joe Joyce makes it 4-1, we're in a strong position when they box in Mexico on Friday.